Yo, what's going on, guys? Wow, Bill here, and today, I don't know what you can call me, because I don't know what goes good at clusters. Um, but I'll be teaching you guys about clusters. Clusters are these kinds of moves where you've got the opening closed, you're like isolating the movement, all this kind of stuff. That's all clusters. Um, and I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to do them cleanly and correctly. Um, I'm also not super good at clusters. Um, I'm gonna give you guys the six point, the four point, and the nine point clusters. But you want to practice on both sides. You want to be able to rotate them around. Um, and you guys will see that some clusters I'm not super good at. Like this one, I don't know how to get that. Uh, it's not that good. I gotta work on a lot of different clusters, but. Hopefully, I'll be able to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to do better. Also, if you guys want a really good other cluster tutorial, check out 3, you got the 3M, shout out to Jest. If you check out Jest, J-E-S-T, um, cluster tutorial, super good cluster tutorial, super good Glover, you guys will learn a lot. He's got the cleanest clusters I've seen. Also, there's another Glover, Mega Wolf. He has super good clusters. There's a ton of other Glovers that do good clusters. Mega Sloth does them too. I don't know what's up with the name Mega, but um, yeah, those are three people that are super good at clusters. There's a lot more. Those are just ones that I could name off the top of my head. So to begin, there are three types of clusters. There is or three main types of clusters, I should say. There's the four point cluster, the six point cluster, and the nine point one. Um, and basically I'll teach you guys how to do each one of those and I'll give you tips on how to make them clean along the way. So the first one is gonna be the four point. So this is what you're gonna do with your left hand. I'm not gonna mirror anything by the way. So I'm gonna be like, if you wanna follow along with me, you're gonna have to turn around or something. I don't know. Um, rewind the video. I'm gonna give you everything uh, how I normally do it. So the left hand, you're gonna make this kind of shape where you got your index finger coming out this way you got all three of your other fingers closed, and then you got your thumb pointing up. So these are at a 90 degree angle. Important that they're at a 90 degree angle. Whenever you do anything tech related, you want them to be orthogonal to each other at 90 degrees. So left hand like this, right hand. You're gonna make a little dial with your middle finger and your ring finger, and your left index finger is gonna go right on top. So, boom, so you can open it up like this, close it, do all that kind of stuff um so one thing is make sure when you're doing any kind of cluster this is like the easiest cluster to practice um, make sure that you do it both sides and you can rotate it boom boom I'm gonna do that a few times so you guys can see that basically all I'm doing is I'm like rotating with my pointing finger out and then bring this pointing finger in so, let you guys try that a few times. Um, make sure that when you're moving through the cluster, like for instance, I'm only gonna move two fingers. These two fingers going to the left. Now the top two fingers going up. Now the right two fingers going right. Now the left two fingers going right. Like you wanna make sure that you're isolating the movement and only one, um, one like group of fingers is moving at a time. It's not really cool when they come, I guess they can come together in the middle, but it's cooler when you like, when you get that, when you get the movement of going from one edge to another, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, also, really want these movements to all be like in 90 degrees to each other. These two fingers right here, the pinky and thumb, what do you want with those? There's a few options. I would say when it comes to the four point clusters, keep the pinky and thumb pinched so you can bring it to a six pinch. And that's way harder, way harder to make clean. Um, I'm still super trash at it, but um, you can also do that. Doesn't matter which side you're doing, bring those in, boom. So always practice both sides. Um, so there's the four points. I got the six point clusters. This is the first one I'm gonna show you guys. So just like this now boom so you got the ring finger coming out you got the index and middle finger coming out at 90 degrees to that and you got the thumb coming out 90 degrees to that 
this pinky doesn't really matter what it's doing, but just keep it in line with the with the uh, index in middle. The right hand is going to literally do the exact same thing. Boom, just like that. It's just like with the index, except now we're doing it with the middle. And now we can bring the middle. Boom. Now we got. I got the six point cluster. So this is how you guys want to practice it. You want to open, you go from one group of six to three groups of two, to one group of six, to two groups of three, to six groups of one. You guys can practice all these moves. You can rotate them a little bit, rotate them 90 degrees and practice both sides. So when you go here and you open it up, boom. It's literally the exact same thing, except now my right hand is the platform. My left hand, it's the exact same thing as this. And it doesn't matter. When you're doing these kind of clusters, watch. I can do the four finger like this. I can do it on this finger. I can do it on this finger. I can do it on this finger. It doesn't matter. You can like close them as you go up. That's another thing you can do. So um, also, it doesn't matter. You can close them on any finger. You can rotate them on any finger. You can rotate them down. You can also, instead of starting from the top, you can rotate this, boom, go to the bottom. And it's the same kind of cluster. So those are just some ways to, I don't know, it's, those are the building blocks that I'm trying to give you guys. And you can expand on it yourself. I know it's kind of hard to come up with new stuff on your own. You gotta like see all the things that everyone else does and eventually you'll make up your own stuff. Um, so there's the four point, the six point, and now the nine point. So we got the six point, right? Boom, boom. The nine point is literally the exact same thing except now your thumb comes down, your pinky comes down, and your other pinky tries to connect. This is a pretty hard connection to make. Um, it takes a little while. I still can't really get that connection with my right hand. Uh, I'm still practicing on that. So left hand, boom, boom, boom. Now you can bring them together, open them up, bring them together, open it up, boom, boom. Uh, not my best cluster move. Uh, I'll let Just and other cluster people do that. Um, one thing that I'd see Just do and other people that are super into clusters do is they'll try this. They'll go, boom, you got the nine points that are open, and they go, four, four, wait, 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 they go four, 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 four. So the middle finger is like going to each spot basically is how you got to think about it. I'm not good at it, obviously you can tell, but just want to give you guys that information out there. Also, a few things practicing. Always keep in mind what the fingers that are not part of the, pin, not part of the cluster are doing. So I'm doing four, I like to keep these pinched, right? But I don't want them to be all loose so they're moving around. It kind of ruins the uh, it ruins the illusion that the clusters make if you have these two lights coming around and like moving around. So either keep them together or keep them super far apart. I like to keep them together when I got the four point and I like to keep them far apart. Kind of like adding a little bit of symmetry here where my thumbs are top and bottom and my pinkies are left and right. And I can still do that. And now I can like close, I can do like other symmetry stuff with this. So yeah, just a few ideas. Um, and also here's like a few other things you can do. So if you got the grid, you, you got to imagine everything's 90 degrees. Everything's always 90 degrees. You can take your thumb here at this 90 degree, get the three points, boom. You can close them out here bring it up like little stepping stones. There's also three point, there's also like three point clusters, but I don't really mess with them that much. Like I've seen a person do this and they bring it to a pinch, which is really cool, but not my kind of thing. Um, it's all what you guys want to make it. I tried to go really slow and show you guys the super basic ones and you can build off of that. Try to incorporate them in other moves. So like um, something that I like to do with clusters, if I get into the nine point, I'll try to like rotate it and then open it up as like a, as a finger roll. And then you can bring it back into the cluster with the finger roll. I like to always like go out into a finger roll and then 
go into a cluster like that, you got to be thinking about your transitions and how each move connects with another move. So, yeah, there are a few things about clusters. I hope I helped you guys. If you need any, also, one thing, practice clusters with your lights on because you got all this freaking thick button over here. And if you don't practice with them on, it might look clean on camera, but then when you go to put your gloves on, it looks like trash. It looks like poop, dude, and you don't want that. So it's really like the it's basically like doubling the thickness of your finger when you have the gloves on. So it's like more than double hard and it takes a lot more dexterity to get the clusters to look good with the gloves on. If you want them to look good while you're gloving, you got to practice with the lights on, um, which if you guys need any gloves or anything of gloving related, rave related stuff, uh, you can go over to Amazing Lights. Boom. You can use my code, how to glove. You'll get 10% off of anything, and um, and I'll get like 10% of the purchase or whatever. Um, so it helps me out, helps you guys out. Um, and yeah, if you guys, like it basically is like no harm done. It only helps me, so for sure. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll try to come back with more gloving finger show tutorials.